Tie-dye is really easy and it's a lot of fun to do. You can do it with kids. It's great to take outside for parties and class projects. You'll get great results. This video is going to show you five basic designs. Your kit comes with basic components. Three colors of dye, blue, red, yellow, an extra bottle to do your mixing in, and soda ash to fix the dye to the fibers. You also get rubber bands to tie with and rubber gloves to protect your hands while you're dyeing. You'll need to provide a few things on your own. Most important, a 100% cotton t-shirt. Don't use polyester, it won't take the dye. Make sure that your shirt is 100% cotton. You'll also need to have a plastic drop cloth to protect your work area, some plastic bags to put your project into after it's dyed, and a large plastic bucket to mix soda ash into and soak your shirts in before you dye them. A couple of things to remember. Don't work in your kitchen area. You want to keep your dye things away from your food and your kitchen utensils. If you're working with small children, make sure they're supervised at all times. The first step is to wash the shirts. Use a simple detergent, no fabric softener, and there's no need to dry them. We're going to fold the shirts while they're damp. So while your shirts are in the washing machine, you can mix up your soda ash and your dyes. Be sure and wear gloves for this part of the process to protect your hands. I like to start out with a small container of hot water from the tap. This helps the soda ash dissolve easier. Open up your packet and sprinkle it into the hot water, stirring as you go. You want to make sure you pour it all in there. And that's completely dissolved. Pour it into your large bucket that has two gallons of warm water in it. You're going to use this to soak your shirts in for at least 20 minutes. You can leave them in for longer, it won't hurt them. And you can also save the soda ash solution and make sure that it's properly labeled while you store it. Mixing the dyes is very easy. Just use hot tap water and fill each of your bottles up to the line right there. If you have a hard time finding the line, lay your fingers at the top of the bottle and fill till the bottom finger. And shake until all the dye is dissolved. If you have any dye left over, it can be stored for up to two weeks in a cool, dry place. Just make sure you keep it away from food. The first fold that we're going to do is the simplest one of all. It's called the brain or the scrunch. And all you gotta do is go like this. Begin by spreading your dampened shirt flat on the table and start in the center of the shirt with your scrunching motions, pulling the whole shirt to one big ball. And you apply your rubber bands. your second rubber band perpendicular to the first one. Continue making X's so they end up with a bunch of pie shapes is what you're going for here. So if you have little extra pieces that are sticking out just add another rubber band. Now you take this and you soak it in your soda ash for 20 minutes. I'm going to start by applying the blue dye. Just in a random pattern over the shirt, poke the nozzle of the squeeze bottle down into the t-shirt, a little more blue on my outside edges, now I'll turn it over and apply dye on the other side. Now place this in a plastic bag. Seal it up and let it sit for at least 12 hours, preferably 24. Another very simple design is the bullseye. All you have to do is pick a spot on your shirt. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Pinch the fabric up and lift it off the table. Give it a little shake. Pull it down 
and start applying your rubber bands. Space them about an inch or an inch and a half apart. Put my final one right here at the tip. Now soak this in soda ash for 20 minutes and you're ready to go. You can make your bullseye pattern more interesting just by varying the position of the center point. Think about starting it in the shoulder. Or do three small bullseyes right around the collar and tie each one separately. Just use your imagination and have fun. On this one, I'm going to use all three colors, starting with blue. At the very point, I'm going to mix my blue and my red together, and that'll make purple. Then I'm going to add blue here. I'm going to turn this over as I go. Let it go up a little bit on the rubber band so that it'll blend into my next color, which is yellow. When you have a fold like this, you do want to get the nozzle of the squirt bottle down into the folds so that it penetrates through the center. Do a combination of blue and red. Squeeze it as you're applying the dye when you have leftover bits of fabric at the end like this. Kind of helps blend things together. Makes your dye go a little bit further. And when everything's complete, Put it in a plastic bag, seal it up, let it sit for at least 12 hours, preferably 24. The next fold is only slightly more difficult. It's basic pleating. You can do it vertically, diagonally, or horizontally across your shirt. Lay your dampened shirt flat on the table and smooth out most of the wrinkles. I'm going to make mine a horizontal band, so starting under one of the armpits, I'm just going to pinch up and make little pleats. They're about a half an inch, maybe, high. You don't have to be too fussy about that. Keep everything laying kind of flat. You can smooth out the pleats on either end. See how that makes everything kind of line up. And when you get to the other side, just bring it all in snug and start applying your rubber bands. Kind of rearrange your pleats if you need to. Put your rubber bands about an inch and a half apart. Now soak this in your soda ash bath for 20 minutes and you'll be ready to dye. I'm going to start with red in the center. Poke the nozzle down into the folds. Where yellow and red come together, we'll get a little bit of orange. We'll turn it over. Do the same application on the back, red in the center. Underneath that, yellow in this section. And more red at the ends. Put your project into a plastic bag. Seal it up. Let it sit for at least 12 hours, preferably 24. Now that you understand basic pleating, you can take it one step further and do a mirror image. To begin the mirror image fold, lay your dampened shirt flat on the table and fold it in half, sleeve to sleeve, smoothing out the wrinkles. Now this is going to be a diagonal design, so I'm going to imagine a line right here. You can use a temporary marker to draw the line if you like, but it works just as well, just to kind of pretend that it's there. And make your pleats 
follow that line. See, I'm, with this hand here, I'm working my way down that line. When I get to the bottom of the shirt right here, that's where I'm going to stop my pleating and tie my first rubber band. Another rubber band about an inch away from that. Now soak this in soda ash solution for about 20 minutes and then you'll be ready to dye. For this shirt, I'm going to mix up some purple according to the instructions on my mixing bottle. Filter this line with red and this line with blue. and shake it to mix it together. I'm going to start this one with the purple that we just mixed up. Remember that the colors will look darker when they're wet. After you rinse them out, it will lighten up. So this purple is going to come out lighter with more shade variation in it than you might think. I'm going to add blue next a little bit in the bottom half of the shirt to kind of pop the color out a little bit more, but also in this band right here. Now I'm going to add quite a lot of yellow next to the blue. It's going to make green. I'm going to have a nice wide bit of yellow up here. because then I'm going to add red on top to make an orange, just leaving a little bit of yellow in this section. I mostly want to get orange up here. I'll turn this over, do the same dye application on the other side, put it in the plastic bag, seal it up, let it sit for at least 12 hours, preferably 24 hours. The final design I'm going to show you is a tie-dye classic, the spiral. To begin your spiral, lay your dampened shirt flat on the table and smooth out your wrinkles. Then start your spiral by grabbing a little piece of the t-shirt right in the center and give your wrist a twist like this. And just keep working it around. If you have really big pleats, you can make them a little bit smaller. Keep twisting. When you get to the end, help things out a little bit, just keeping the spiral going until you have a nice kind of a cinnamon roll. And then put your rubber bands on, same way you did with the scrunch pattern. Put on your first rubber band, and then put your second rubber band at right angles to that. One more rubber band over there. Looks good. Now soak this bundle in your soda ash solution for 20 minutes, and then I'll show you how to apply the dye. I'm going to imagine my little rolled up t-shirt here is a pie and I'm going to divide it up into six slices and put a different color in each of those sections. So I'll start with my blue, do a little wedge shape of blue, do another one of red right here, yellow over here. Go in again with the blue. We'll turn it over. I'll repeat the application process on this side. Place it in a plastic bag. 
Let it sit for 12 hours at least. 24 hours is preferable. Now it's time for the rinse out. Take your shirt out of the plastic bag and leave the rubber bands on for this first part. You want to start with warm water and then slowly increase the temperature to hot. You can see that the water is starting to run a little bit more clear. So I'll stop at this point and take the rubber bands off. The rubber bands come off pretty easy on this design, but some designs may be more difficult. You can clip the rubber bands off with a pair of scissors. Just be careful not to damage your shirt. There we go. Now I'll continue the rinse out. Now the water is coming out pretty much clear. So I can stop the rinse out. Now I can take this and wash it in the washing machine on hot with regular detergent. Don't use any fabric softener. Then you can dry it as usual. After that, you can wash it just normally, and you're done. So now you've been through all the basics and you can do tie-dye on your own. Remember that you can combine patterns and use different color combinations. Just use your imagination, and most importantly, have a good time.